In this video, I am going to show you how to do the port forwarding, DIN DNS and DMZ configuration in TP-Link ER605 multiband router. In my previous video, I have explained how we can configure the ER605 router. You can use the attached reference link from description. First, we need to log in the router with the router IP. In my previous video, I have already mentioned how to take the IP of the router and how to configure the username and password. Here I am logging the router with the username and password. Username and password will be created while on the configuration time. You can refer the video. For configuring the DDNS, we need to select services, then dynamic DNS. Here we can see four type of service providers are available for the DDNS configuration. Pnet Hull, Com Exe, DYN DNS and No IP. These four services are available in this router for using the Dyn DNS. Any of this service provider domain IP we can update from the device itself. For set up this DDNS, we need to create the account in any of this service provider or we can use the multiple service provider for creating the dynamic DNS address. Once after creating, we need to log in and we need to enter the details. It will automatically update the public IP to dynamic DNS for access the servers externally. Here I am showing how to do the configuration. This is only for the testing purpose I am showing. So I have not created any account. But in the real time scenario, we need to create the account in particular service providers. And then we need to enter the details as per that. For example, if we are having Pnet Hull service provider Dyn DNS setup, we need to select the interface, then enter the account name, then password. Then we can select the update interval of Dyn DNS. And don't forget to enable the status. Then press the OK button. It will start to update the WAN IP to particular DNS name automatically. If it is a DYN DNS, here you can see one more option, domain name. First we need to select the WAN interface. Then enter the account name. Then enter the password. Enter the domain name. DYN DNS, we can create the multiple DNS name. In that purpose, we need to use the particular domain name here for updating the WAN IP and update interval. I also make sure the status is enabled. Then press the OK button. Same way, we can add the no IP account in no IP portion. If you want to use multiple account, if you, if you want to use four of the service provider name, we are able to use four of them. If you want to stop the update of WAN IP or public IP, we can simply delete the DDNS details we have added. Now I am going to show you how to do the port forwarding and DMSZ configuration in TP-Link ER605 router. For this purpose, we need to select transmission, then press the NAT. This is load balancing router. It has multiple features and if you are having multiple IPs, we will get a multiple option to do the port forwarding and DMSZ configuration. Here I am just showing only the basic configuration of DMSZ and port forwarding. One to one netting required multiple WAN IPs. Then only it will be possible to do that. Here I am going to show you the port forwarding. For this purpose I am using the virtual servers option. Then enter the name. We need to select the interface of WAN IP. Then enter the external ports. If you want to use a bunch of port, we can use hyphen. I am using single port for forwarding. Then enter the internal port. Then enter the internal server IP. Server IP means which is the server we need to access from outside. Then select the protocol. By default, all will be available. That means UDP and TCP. Instead of all, we can use either TCP or UDP. In this purpose, I am using TCP protocol. Then make sure the status checkbox is enabled. Then press the OK button. If you want to configure the DMSZ, 
we need to select the NAT DMZ configuration. Then enter the name, select the WAN interface, and then enter the server IP. Then enable the status checkbox. Then press the OK button. If you want to delete the DMZ, we can press simply press the delete button. Or if you want to edit, we can press the edit option. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.